All right, gang, I'm here. Uh, you see the 407 back there? It's almost done. Like a little bit of touch-up paint right on that little freaking stinger right there. Anyway, got my blades painted. So I am now statically balancing my blades because I put all kinds of paint and shit in them. So now they're all out of whack. So dynamic balancing. So you can see here, this is on a teeter, okay? I put matching blades on it. I have one and three right now. And the surface that you're working from, if you really wanna make it easy, make sure it's perfectly level out to the ends of the blades. That way you can use a measuring tape, measure at the ends of each blade, that one and this one right here, so you can get them absolutely spot on. So, fortunately, I did that already. But now, I've got my blades set here. They're really close, and I'm using some just some black tape on the bottom side of the blades because it looks better and all that kind of good stuff. So, at 65 millimeters, I am at like 66 millimeters. I am within a millimeter, I think of all this in fact i think i'm spot on it's kind of bouncing back and forth between 64 and 65 millimeters so it's pretty close so i've got my little piece of tape here i have i found uh, the cg of the blade put a little mark there and i am centering that little balance piece right on there so if it were longer it would be balanced on the cg and then you just gotta do that for however many blades you got. Since I'm running a four blade set, I'm balancing one and three and two and four. So this, will, what you're looking at is the bottom side of the blades because I painted the black and the silver and now I'm rebalancing them. That's how I balance my blades on all my stuff. Now, if I have an odd set of blades, well, that sucks because you have to have them all balance to each other. And unfortunately, 53E out there, it's got seven blades. So they all gotta wait, they gotta balance exactly the same. this set this is one I just balanced on the, uh, the time-lapse it's all good so that was all I needed to balance it out just a little tiny piece unlike the other set that I needed a big chunk of now if I did have the three blade set on a uh, like an a star or if I had a five blade set like on my 500 all of those blades have to match all the way around so yeah and oh yeah here's the other one the little blades so i threw on um, a little bit of leading edge uh metal trim strip thing that they, that they put on there you know the leading edge and so i had to rebalance those and this one you can kind of see it right there that little piece of black shiny tape was enough to get these into balance and do it exactly the same way on the little balancer measuring from the tips down you know to the level surface and getting them spot on so they are dynamically balanced and you won't have any problems with your tail rotor in theory you know hopefully you know, at least the balancing won't be a problem. It'll be something else that we're going through. So, and kind of going over some of the little giblets that Arlo would say. You know, I added some more stuff on here, like this little stinger that's going to get broke off within 30 seconds of the first flight. That'll get taken off. Uh, got the exhaust painted with the soot on the inside. It's a bad running engine. 
and uh, got, got the little antennas that were on there for the full size. And then I had this one up here. And I, you know, not the, not the wire cutter. The wire cutter stock. This little white antenna was on it. And I thought, okay, cool. I can kind of lift this up and kind of push it off to the side. But there you see what happens. So that, what the hell? I'm going to try this. So I stuck a couple of magnets inside there, gave it a little pin, gave it a little spot, and you can see where the glue was and where I did it. And let's see if I can get this to, you can kind of snap in there. So now it's on there. Because what I did was not only did I have the magnet inside there, but I stuck another magnet and glued it to the underside of there. So the last thing I gotta do, <laughs> keep putting it off, I have to paint the white stripes on the stinger. And then this bitch will be almost done. I'm sure there's something else that I missed.